What's up, Patreon world? It's Daddy Russ, David T. Hope, and uh, we're doing a test, another test, on our FaceTime show, which means usually we'll have Chris on here too, correct, Hope? Yeah, usually with Chris, we're going to do, we're doing, playing around with the audio. Yes, yeah, so we're on trying this to figure here. out some audio levels. Yeah, we're trying to figure out some different functionalities and things to how we want to edit this. So you had an idea for a topic. My topic was, uh, we started off as filmmakers. I mean, we, we are filmmakers, but I, I want to change that. And I just threw you a curveball. Okay. And I want to go into what we started to about talking about branding yourself as an individual. Right. And we are Red Sea TV. That's what we do. Red Sea TV makes movies, creates content, commercials. We shoot stuff. But you are more than just a filmmaker. Right. Uh, Chris is more than just a filmmaker. Chris now runs the, I mean, even though we have the backyard, Chris takes on the lead of that. He's the chief over there. I feel like I want to, I'm a filmmaker. I want to be a creator. Right. But I brand myself as being positive on my Instagram and my Facebook, uh, my workout videos or workout shots and training. So, how do you see branding yourself helping you or others that need to brand themselves? Well, we talked about this. Like I said, we, we, we you and I have been talking this for about a month. And really, the people that really are, we call influencers now, are individuals. Yeah. So, uh, really, brands aren't driving the audiences and what people are viewing and following it's 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 certain people uh and hell and even on social media they're not celebrities it's it's individuals who are just her are only social media celebrities so it's not just just a beaver moving traffic it's you know Susie q who has two million followers is moving yeah you know? do you is it, is the, it the, are you do you believe it's better for you to brand yourself yes. to help every company you have, whether yes. it's social media cowboy or Red Sea TV or your Facebook deal. Yeah, uh, we kind of like you know you like to use the Holly Tucker deal, and I'll come and I'll, I'll show you where I'm going with this. Holly Tucker was in Waco, and she's a great singer. We had her at the old studio. Yeah, I thought, wow, man, she's really cute. She can sing, and man, she's got it all. But she didn't really do anything here. And then she makes it on The Voice, and now it's like she was a big deal. And yeah. it took somebody else in California saying, hey, Holly Tucker's got talent before. Before everybody here goes, right. oh, we knew her when. And so, I hate that. I, so, I hate a pro that. you know, a prophet is never respected his own town, as the Bible tells us. Amen. And that's true for us as artists and stuff. But, but having said that, so that's one part of the argument, but the – to, to brand ourselves as individuals and not just Red Sea, I think it's going to be beneficial because that's what influencers are doing. Or it's, it's not Pepsi that's moving traffic online. It's, no. like I said, it's Susie Q in Idaho that's got 2 million followers moving things online. So even locally, if I say, hey, go check out Fred at UGA Pest, You'll listen to me versus maybe a commercial on TV or something like or that. Or on Facebook. I totally agree. So I, I, I might not want to try a restaurant. You know, the backyard, for instance. I, I'm not big on sliders, but Chris says, hey, we got new sliders. Come try them. What I do, I went and tried them. And yeah. I really liked them. Now I can't get, I, I want that damn. Monte Crisco or whatever. The heaping mess, the is the, mess. Heap and mess is the one I want probably three times a week now. So, But, but it took him telling me. Yeah, that's, that's Chris Cox had to tell me, not Red Sea. Yeah, and that's what creating your own, uh, creating your own traffic, making yourself branding yourself will get you more business because I can I can immediately reach out and touch you. That commercial's not going <laughs> to do you any good. And you can even look in our Amazon reviews of our movies. There are people that like Russell but don't like Chris. There are people that like yeah. Russell but don't like Hope. There are people that like Hope that don't like Russell. That's exactly right. It, it's like I'm closer to Russell than most of my kinfolk. Yeah, maybe. but 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 still, 
I mean, but still, the you know, they don't know that. They're still a fan of me, not... They're still a fan of me, not so much the brand of Red Sea. So exactly. They're, they're watching it because who you are. I've got to convert people to our stuff, to the backyard, to Red Sea, to Social Media Cowboys, through me, the individual. I agree with That's that. where I'm going. And that's why I think... That's where everybody's going. That's why your branded Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat is not... Yeah, we have a Red Sea one, but they follow Russell, they follow Hope, they follow Chris... They follow Rusty. They follow Jesse. Brand yourself. Your friends will get pulled along with you. All yeah. right, that was our five minutes. All right. Wrap it up. Red Sea is now Warner Brothers. We yes. have to be our own Brad Pitts. So. Well done there, buddy. I don't know if this is well, my best side here. Well done. Then it's all all faint. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Peace, folks. That's what we're going to start doing, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.